lot of them, so. And I got a face for radio, so this is going to be tough. <laughs> Can you say it? Campanile. Yeah. Coach, just describe your uh, experience so far since. Uh, the, the just job. been awesome. Um, you know, working with Coach Brown, uh, Coach Harbaugh, been fantastic. Um, the kids here, you know, not only are they phenomenal athletes, but they're phenomenal kids. And uh, I honestly, I, I, I couldn't have had a better experience in these first few months. Um, it's, it's really fun because. Chris Partridge and I uh, know each other <laughs> from way back. You know, we went to high school together. Uh, ben McDaniel's and I uh, worked together at Rutgers before, so it's just been a lot of fun seeing some old friends and uh, meeting some new people. And everybody's been great here. How much did you know about Michigan, and how much did you know about Harbaugh? Whole lot. I mean, I was a football maniac when I was a little kid. You know, come from a football family, so um, you know Michigan. I think everybody grows up pretending they're playing at Michigan in their backyard when they're a little kid. Um, I know I did. Everybody, everybody in our house did. So um, certainly very familiar with, you know, the things that are important here, the history here, um, and certainly Coach Harbaugh, you know, the opportunity to coach for him and be around him. Um, I'd be lying to you if I told you that that wasn't a huge part of why I wanted to be here. Um, getting to meet him uh, when I interviewed, I felt really, really comfortable because I felt we were very like-minded. You know, I think he loves his players, uh, loves his family. Those things are important to me. They're important to him. And uh, that's the type of place I want to be. So, were you surprised when you first got that phone call? Um, I, 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 that's a that's a great question. Um, surprised? I don't know. I was very excited. I was you know fired up uh, for the opportunity to come out here and see everything. And you know, obviously you you heard you hear a ton about Michigan all through your, your life growing up if you're a football fan. Um, and then having some friends here, you know, I probably had some knowledge of the inner workings and how many great people were here. Um, and so, yeah, excited is really the word I would use more than anything, definitely. Was it difficult at all leaving the East Coast? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really difficult. More so leaving um, guys that you love coaching. You know, I think anytime you move in coaching, it's hard. Um, I think, you know, I think if it isn't hard when you leave coaching, you're probably in the wrong business. Um, you know, I've, I've been really fortunate uh, to coach a lot of kids who, you know, are I love like family, you know, my children feel that way about them. Uh, my wife feels that way about them. Uh, so that's, that's the hardest part. Leaving the East Coast, um, leaving some of the pizza, that's hard for me. But, <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, it, everything's been great here. You know, that, that's it. You know, I got family there and they'll get out here and check out games. So yeah, not, not all that hard. Just, uh, you know, moving on and, and not getting the opportunity to coach your players anymore. That's always hard. How much flexibility does Don give you, Brown? Um, Don, the, I kind of said this to a couple people. The amazing thing about Coach Brown is um, he has like no ego. He's really um, somebody who takes it all in in the room, um, takes an input, you know, asks guys their opinion, their questions, um, and he's just he's got an awesome mentality. He's got an awesome personality. Um, I think that's why players gravitate to him. I think that's why guys like coaching with him. Um, he's really just a, a great dude. He's a great human being. He's an uh, awesome guy to be around because he's intense. He's got a ton of energy, a ton of knowledge. Um, he's, he's a great guy. I've really, really enjoyed being around him and hope I answered your question well enough. But, um, yeah, I think everybody has an input in the room. And, and um, you know, at the end of the day, when Coach Brown makes a decision on what we're going to do, we're going to go do it 1,000 miles an hour. Well, you East Coast guys are sort of taking over the defense. So. I guess, yeah. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. And, uh, there, there's, there's definitely, uh, definitely a, a, an East Coast mentality there, I guess you could say. I don't know. Um, there's a bunch of us in there, so that's been cool. A lot of like-minded personalities, for sure. Is there an East Coast mentality? I mean, it's not like there's a, it's a hotbed for college football. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe, not, maybe that's uh, not the right way to say it. I don't know. But Coach Brown is uh, an aggressive personality. Uh, I feel that way. You know, I'm... I have an aggressive personality. I coach that way. He coaches that way. Uh, coach Zordich coaches that way. Chris Portridge coaches that way. Sean Newell coaches that way. So I think Coach Brown and Coach Harbaugh um, have made it a point to you know, bring people in who have uh, similar mindset when it comes to coaching. Love your players. Um, be a great teammate in the room with the staff. And uh, go coach with your hair on fire when we get out in between the lines. You, know, so. you have been listening to Don a lot, right? Without a doubt. Yeah, without a <laughs> doubt. Without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, I think that's, that's like you said, you asked earlier, somebody asked earlier, you know, what's my experience been like? 
I feel like I'm home. You know, everybody's uh, like the people I grew up with. You know, they're tough guys. They love their players. They're great people. I mean, it's you can't ask for a better situation. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. So, is there anything to the transition having come from where you know you succeeded Don Brown at Boston College and then you come and coach with him? Like, yeah, I think just that I, you know, we coached a lot of the same players, um, and you know, players talk, and, and everybody has such a high opinion of Coach Brown. So, um, I was really excited to get the opportunity to work with him because you know when players talk and they kind of talk about their experience, um, I think they felt very positive about their time with him. You know, his system, I had a pretty good ground-based knowledge of coming in here, and I think that made it a little bit easier. Um, it wasn't like a wholesale change for me, you know, and kind of had a pretty good understanding of uh, what Coach has done and, and why he's had the success that he's had. So that's that's been good. That's been advantageous for sure. So do your responsibilities lie with the linebackers, or are you all over the place? Yeah, you know, the thing about Don's system is so cool. You coach so many different things, you know, um, and, and different – uh, packages, you're, you're coaching different things. So primarily, yes, you know, with the Sam's Vipers, um, but coach has given me the leeway to coach a couple different spots, and that's been a lot of fun. So it's been cool because uh, the great thing about what coach does is he gets he gets guys an opportunity to get out on the field and, and have success by doing what they're good at. You know, and that's that's been a lot of fun to watch too and be a part of. What are some of your early impressions on the personnel you have, guys you're working with? They're good. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some of my uh, early impressions. But, uh, you know, uh, getting a chance to work with uh, some of the guys has been awesome. I think uh, Khalid Hudson is a really talented kid, um, very humble guy, hardworking guy. I mean, he practices like a maniac, which is really, really impressive. Uh, Josh Uche is a guy like that. You know, I had the opportunity to be around him a bunch. Coach him, he's been awesome. Uh, he's, those guys are football you know, junkies. They'll come in and just they love to talk ball whether it's pass rush, coverage, whatever, you know, the run game. Um, they just want to be great. And uh, there's a myriad of other guys like that. I think, um, you know, we have some young guys that have really come on here in the spring in, in two practices have jumped out. And um, that's been fun to see. And like I said, Coach Brown gives those guys opportunities to do that, you know, to have success early and build confidence. So it's been a lot of fun. Uche, is he solely at Sam or is he working with the defensive line? Josh has, has been, you know, kind of doing – uh, a bunch of things, kind of similar to how he was last year. Um, and he's just kind of a jack of all trades. I think he's got a ton of talent, ton of ability. You know, he's really one of the few guys I've been around in college football who, um, as you know, can rush the passer, uh, can play coverage. You know, fit as a linebacker. He's he's a really talented guy. So he's um, he's a guy that obviously um, has had some success here, and uh, hopefully we can continue. He can continue to do that. I think he will. How can you build on that success? I just think doing what he's doing. You know, he's a guy that stays after, um, you know, studies extra. Um, that There's no secret. Honestly, there's no secret to that. There's no secret formula. It's hard work. Um, and you have to have guys like, it's great to have talented players, but you have to have guys that love working hard. And when people ask me, you know, what jumps out to you? That jumps out to me. We got guys that love football. They love working hard. They love competing, you know, breaking a sweat, getting in there, doing uh, extra film work, learning from the coaches, asking questions, um, you know, no jobs too small type of guys. So that, that we're, I feel like we have so many guys like that, and that's what I think is going to help him um, continue to progress as a player, and that's why I think he's a special player. Imagine you're familiar with Ben Mason. He's another East Coast guy. Absolutely. How can he do both? I mean, Jim's in here saying he's going to play like, you know, 15 different positions. Yeah, he's, he's a um, same way. I mean, he's a, he's a football, you know, he's the type of dude you love to coach. I mean, um, he just loves football. He's a great teammate. You know, he wants to be great at whatever he does. Um, and I think, you know, that you can often find that in the way guys play special teams. Because on special teams, you have to have, oftentimes, you have to have both skill sets. You know, be an offensive player, whether you're, blocking or carrying the ball, uh, and a defensive player where you're running down a kickoff or punt, you know, whatever it may be. Um, so he's a guy who's had a lot of success on special, on special teams, and um, I think those guys are usually more apt to do that. And, um, again, it goes back to your personality. You know, I, he practices like an animal. He works out like an animal. And, uh, you know, if, if anybody can do it, a guy like that can do it. And uh, we really, really are excited about him, for real, for sure. What was Chris Parkers like as a youngster? Um, <laughs> you know, good dude. Uh, we, we've known each other a long time. Probably know Chris since I'm uh, 
like, like 13. So, you know, we go, we go way back. Um, just always competitive, you know, um, always a guy who, um, you know, loved to lead his teammates, do the right thing, work really hard. Um, and I think that that's probably why he's had a ton of success, you know, at every level and, and obviously has had success here. Like I said, you know, about the players, there's no secret. Guys that work hard, uh, guys that do things, uh, are willing to go the extra mile and do the extra work, are always going to be successful. And I feel like Coach Harbaugh has built a staff of people, just like I said, in my short time here, being around people, that I'm really, really impressed by the guys here. And I love that about this place. Like, I love that you come in the office all hours of the night and there's guys working on ball. And, you know, whether it's early in the morning or late at night, they love it. How different is the, are the players? I mean, Don had the number one defense at, at BC, so yeah. I mean, and he probably obviously did it here. But sure. how different are the, are the players, the, the talent level? Um, no, I think, I mean, I think at, at Boston College, we were really, really, really fortunate. Um, we had a lot of great players there. Uh, yeah, I think there was a bunch of guys in the combine this year again. Um, you know, so, I mean, it, it often comes back to um, the guys that, that you have, are they willing to do the work? And I feel like at both places, uh, I've been really fortunate. The guys here are awesome. They love doing the work. And, and the guys there uh, were tireless workers as well. So just similar personalities as kids. And, you know, each team is always different every year, you know, just the, the talent level. Um, so I've been fortunate to coach a lot of great players there and, and feel fortunate right now in coaching some really good players. So I feel lucky. When you um, played football as a kid and you thought, you know, playing as Michigan, did you, was there a player you uh, emulated, you wanted to be? It's funny. We were just talking about that Tim Biakabatuka picture over there. I guess I think, if I remember correctly, it was 1995, right? I think, you know, that game. I remember watching that game with all my brothers and all that, you know. Um, yeah, just everybody, you know, I mean, just you watch college football on Saturdays or, or whatever it was, or, you know, if your high school games on Friday night, uh, college football on Saturdays. and. Uh, those are the games and the players you always think about growing up and all that stuff. And um, yeah, I, I mean everybody. It's just I've kind of followed uh, I followed Michigan for quite a while, so that's been cool. A lot of guys, I guess, when I was little, you know, there's a lot of backyard football games that they kept it all the So yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of guys, I guess. You haven't found a suitable pizza, though. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I haven't had enough pizza yet. I haven't had enough pizza. I haven't, I haven't tried enough places. So, you know, uh, my wife's trying to get me out. So I'm sure I'll find one, and I'll be wearing them out for sure. No doubt. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it.